Welcome back, Soul Gardening family. And I did say Soul Gardening because what are we doing? We're tending the garden of our soul. I'm Sadiqa, the renegade aromatherapist, and I'm thrilled to meet you. Chapter two of Libra. So two areas of the body that Libra rules is lumbar region over here in the low back and the kidneys. And when I tuned into the low back and the kidneys, one oil said, pick me, you got to talk about me today. And this oil, is in my top 10 list of what every household needs to have. I use her so much, and I'm gonna get into why. It's birch. Birch is a tall, slender, silvery, gorgeous tree that is native to North America. This one is steam distilled from Canada. The bark and the wood of the tree is used for this oil, and she is powerful. So let's talk about how she's powerful in relationship to the low back and the kidneys. To start off with, with the kidneys, she is a diuretic. She will promote urination. She will promote the cleansing. She literally is a kidney cleanser. She helps rid the kidneys and the bladder of excess, of impurities, of anything that's out of balance with the optimal functioning of those organs. Birch is also a super powerful analgesic pain reliever. So when it comes to the low back, I have worked on so many people over the years with low back, chronic low back issues. Birch, birch, birch. Now birch is yin in temperature and yang in energy. Now for those of you who've been with me for a while now, you already know what that means. But for those of you who are new to my show, let me tell you. Yin means, well actually birch is super, super extremely yin. And so what that means, she is going to register on the cold side temperature wise. If she were extremely yang, she would represent the hot side, like cinnamon bark. If you put cinnamon bark neat on your skin, it can burn. So we layer it, but that's another story. When they're super yin, you're going to feel the coldness seeping into your skin and soothing pain, soothing inflammation, soothing trauma, shock, any kind of muscle, bone related issues. Birch is fabulous. So there have been so many times, I have a child, I have nieces and nephews, I'm around children. Kids are constantly falling, hurting themselves, slamming their fingers here or there. And so instead of freaking out, I just go and get my birch and saturate the area. Just the other day, my nephew got his finger caught in the treadmill. It started to get inflamed. It was bleeding. I just calmly took him over, poured about 25, 30 drops of birch all over his finger wrapped it in a towel and iced it and within a half hour the finger was fine and that's just a gentle example of how powerful birch is i have used her for some serious serious shock and trauma to the body and after a few days the body goes back to its beautiful state of balance birch is also great for digestion she helps stimulate the digestive system so if you have overeaten, or like last week when I overindulged, birch was one of my primary oils to use in relationship with fennel, of course, um, to really get my digestive tract geared up to deal with the war in my stomach. Birch also will stimulate the circulatory system and the nervous system. So she's invigorating. I'm not gonna pour her all over my body right before I go to bed except in extreme digestive or uh, physical pain kind of issues. Otherwise, I would use her more in the beginning of the day. She's uplifting, she's a vitality inv invitation. Exactly that, she invites vitality, vim, vigor, enthusiasm, but she's also very practical. So I love that combination. She addresses digestion, the whole kidney system, all sorts of low back issues, pain, inflammation. She also is great for headaches. Um, birch can be used to help us focus. Super powerful germicide, antibacterial. So I love to clean the toilets and around the toilets with birch and lemon. It smells good and you know you're disinfecting. Birch is just fabulous for so many reasons. 
So get yourself a bottle, get in touch with me, renegadearomatherapist at gmail.com. And before I close, I have to debunk a myth about birch. It makes my blood boil how much misinformation is printed in books and is on the internet about medicinal aromatherapy. You will see in a lot of sources, absolutely never use birch undiluted on your skin. I am here to tell you that that is absolutely incorrect information. I have been using birch undiluted or neat, we say, for over a decade on myself and on thousands of clients. Birch, medicinal grade birch from a reputable source like me is perfectly safe to use undiluted on your skin. They always say, make sure you dilute it with the carrier oil. It's nonsense. You're actually missing out on her powerful medicinal properties when you dilute it, when you dumb it down with a carrier oil. So it's your responsibility to know your source that you're getting the legitimate steam distilled birch. And then it's your responsibility to second, know how to use her safely. Now, if you're super sensitive to temperature, layer her. You're not gonna pour cold birch all over your body right out of the shower when all of your pores are open or it's gonna feel really intense. Layer her or use her before your shower. There's so many myths out there. It's your job to not believe everything you read, okay? So, in closing, look into my eyes. Hmm. Just relax with me for a second. And let's just gaze eye to eye. And let yourself have a tiny smile as you look at me. Let the joy, the natural joy of who you are bubble up right now. Can you feel it? Can you just feel that mm, yumminess of life, that yumminess that lives inside of you, that lives inside of me? Let's go out today and let's invoke that yumminess, that joy that exists in everybody, whether they remember it or not. Let's call it forth. Let's go out in the world and be a bestower of joy today. Until next week, I love you. I'm in gratitude for you. Go be with the plants and trees. Go be the natural self that you are. And have an aromatic day. So garden.